So what is new in the Digital Ecosystem Common Toolbox for 2020-2021? Um, some of these things are new, and some of these things uh, we just created a page for in the Common Toolbox. So we've had some of these for a while. We're just highlighting them a little bit better than we have in the past. And so just FYI, right now I'm recording this on July 24. Uh, the ecosystem site is still in the process of being updated. Um, all of these tools will have their own pages prior to the start of Great Beginnings on August 10th. So some new things, uh, they're the things without hyperlinks right now. So obviously Schoology is going, undergoing a pilot this year. Uh, we, we will roll Schoology out division-wide full to the full system uh, this time next year. Uh, Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, I'm sure you're probably aware, also aware that uh, has been renewed for this year. So we'll have that as our um, virtual learning system so that'll be available until next June. Uh, Learn 360 is also on here. Uh, that contract was renewed this year, so we'll have Learn 360 through the end of June 2025. Some other things here: We Video has been um, is will be provided thanks to the IT department to all faculty and staff. Uh, Microsoft Teams. Do we have a Teams? Uh, we know we have Office. So Microsoft Teams will be available as part of Office for all faculty and staff. Um, they're starting to roll out focusing on central office folks mostly, so you'll probably hear more about that. In addition to those tools, um, the school board has approved the purchase of several new supplemental curriculum tools for the coming year, and we've listed those here, and each of these will have their own pages. So Imagine Learning and Literacy, those are for grades K through six English language arts. That's a supplemental resource to provide individualized practice and feedback. Imagine Reading, grades three to six, English language arts. It provides individualized practice and feedback. Literacy Footprints Digital Reader, AKA Pioneer Valley. That'll be English language arts primary. Uh, exact grades, I believe, are still to be determined. That's digital access to leveled readers to support guided reading instruction. Then for K-8 math, we will have a program ST math, and that will also be available to high school students enrolled in algebra readiness for ELs. That's a supplemental resource to provide concept-based individualized practice for feedback through problem solving. And then we have Gizmos for Science, uh, grades 7, 8, science, and a lot of high school courses. So it's in inquiry-based online science simulations. So grade 7 science, Grade 8 Physical Science, Grade 9 Environmental Science, Biology 1 and Honors, Chemistry 1, Honors, IB 1, Physics 1, Honors, IB 1, Geosystems 1, Honors, and Active Physics. So look for each of those to have their own detail page here on the Ecosystem site by August 10th.